Hey guys, Kat Kerr, and today we're playing with Wet Media Duralar by Graphics. Now this film is coated on both sides to accept water-based mediums. It also does not tear, it will not absorb, moisten, or discolor. Now in today's video, I was inspired by these two images I found on Pinterest, and they used black glue as a faux stained glass technique. Now I didn't have any black glue, so I made my own. I just took some clear glue that I had on hand and I added some resin dye to it. If you don't have resin dye, you can also use acrylic paint. You can even use black food coloring. Just add a couple of drops, mix it thoroughly, and then you're ready to use. Now, even though this is a transparent film, I did leave the white uh, tissue paper behind it so that you could see it a little bit better. And I didn't have any plan as far as the design. I just went a little um, happy with the glue and put it all over the place. And then I let it dry completely before starting to add some watercolor. Now, because this film is coated, it allows me to add watercolor, any wet medium. And I think it's awesome because normally if you were to attempt to do this on a clear transparency, the watercolor or the liquid medium would just beat up. And because of the special coating, it allows me to spread the watercolor um, over the page and really just use it like any other watercolor surface. Now, as you can see, I really loved mixing a couple of the colors together and to make them even darker, I would let one layer dry and then go back in with an even darker color just to give it a little bit more pop. Now, once that watercolor dried, I used a white Sharpie to go around the image to add some texture and some mark making. Now, I love this idea of creating simple art to dress up your window. And I especially love how different these look when you put different cardstock behind them. One has white cardstock, the other one has black, and the black cardstock just goes bam. I love it. And it kind of left me wanting a little more. So here I'm going to try this Marabou Fashion Liner. And then for another one, I'm going to use one of my foam stamps as well as acrylic paint. And lastly, I'm going to try this Marabou Relief Paste. Now to add the color, I'm also going to use different mediums. For this first one, I am using DecoArts Media Fluid, and I'm just adding the color to one side. And when it, once it dries, I go ahead and take a sharp object, and I'm just scratching into the uh, plastic film because I'm going to completely cover it in a lighter color. Now this is all on one side, and once it's completely dry, I can flip it over and take a look at all that texture. Next up, I'm using Marabou sketch markers, and this is super easy, just picking out some colors and filling it in. And you can see how nice and vibrant this looks, and I think it would look really beautiful on any window. Now for this last one, I'm using Marabou alcohol inks and I'm just covering up the entire page. Now this was the relief paste and it was probably my favorite out of all of the uh, black uh, faux lines because it stayed raised and it looked more like a stained glass piece. Now I really do love the way these came out and they would look wonderful and vibrant on my window. But as a creative, I'm constantly changing my mind, and so I decided to cut them up and use them somewhat like a small mosaic on a little canvas. Now here I am just auditioning and placing all of these different shapes until I come up with a pleasing design. Now you can use just one design or multiple designs on one small canvas, totally up to you. Now, once I've decided on the composition, I need to attach all of my little elements. And here I'm using double tack dry adhesive sheet. I simply cut it down to size, expose one side and attach it to my canvas, expose the other side, and then attach all of my little elements. Now for the grout, I decide to use some gold glitter 
and then I just remove the excess, trim the sides uh, of the uh, sheets, and this piece is done. As you can probably tell, it was an awesome play day. I had a lot of fun with this Wet Media Duralar. I especially love how versatile it is and how you can use all of these different types of wet media on top of the surface. So if you're looking for more ideas on how to use this Duralar film, make sure you check out graphicsarts.com. Thanks for watching.